The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As always, it doesn't matter where you're at or even where I'm at, as long as we're here at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have? We've got uh, da -da, a market that uh, is is uh, our, my predecessor in the hour before would always say a mixed bag. Uh, but we have more of the same as far as I'm concerned, and that is folks leaving the more speculative uh, stocks, uh, some in technologies, uh, and, but uh, really heading for those stocks that are, quote, quote, the A-list stocks, the, uh, the ones that everybody – talks about uh, as uh, on breathless waves on CNBC, uh, the Dow 30, the ones that uh, really matter, the, the ones that uh, your, uh, your dividends will never be taken away from. And uh, it's, uh, I mean, we're in a bear market. All you have to do is look at Netflix or Facebook's um, reaction uh, to earnings. Uh, and kind of the belief that it's just not going to happen to me. There wouldn't be any war if everybody believed they were going to die, uh, whether they were or not. Um, so everybody just kind of goes back in there. The uh, markets give you a number of times after a high to sell. But uh, again, greed means that you cannot, or let me put it this way, 95% of people cannot sell a top and then decide to stay short. They will come back time after time thinking that a new bottom's in, it, this time it's different. Uh, but you're gonna have all the uh, stocks that were leading the last couple of years, just in a normal sector rotation, uh, come back down. Uh, I'll get into Netflix in a little bit. It's got some specialty items of why I hated or hate a lot of uh, Hollywood style companies, mostly from my experience being out there, which we'll talk about. But uh, what do you have? You've got a you've got a market where everybody continues to crowd into a handful of stocks, thinking that they can hide out there. They're smarter than the rest of everybody else. They're a better stock picker, and the reality is, they probably aren't. They're just doing what everybody else is doing on a day like this. So you've got the Dow up 1%. The s and is up three-tenths of a percent. Of course, the NASDAQ's off three-quarters of a percent. But uh, the news just didn't get any, any better. Uh, it continues to go worse. But you, as I've said many times in the last uh, few weeks and backed it to uh, Christmas, in a bear market, you're going up probably three-fourths of the time. It's just when you go down, it just goes down so much quicker and faster. You may just tick up like this, like three-tenths or a tenth of a percent in a uh, bull market, but then you get the one, two, three percent down days in the big indexes, and it takes another week or two. Everybody thinks it's over, and it's not there. So as I uh, do get into this, what I'm looking for um, was, or is – Everybody to quit shorting. We had a, it wasn't big, but there was enough of people uh, shorting into uh, yesterday's rally, which makes me think that yet there's another day, at least today, when we're probably going to see a little higher index uh, levels. The real key is whether or not we get people giving up on shorting today. Uh, if it's not, it's probably on Friday. And then I think we're probably going to start seeing weakness yet again. Now, I would be persuaded to say that being bearish is probably the wrong side. 
And the reason, the way I would do that is uh, see lots of volume. Well, we had about a uh, little, uh, about 6.9 billion shares as we started the show yesterday. We're doing about 6.7 billion shares as we started the show today. None of these are large volume moves higher. In fact, if I was, uh, if this was the 15th of May, I would say we are in a part of the market that's setting up for summer volume uh, in April. So not looking good. Uh, I'm still thinking that we get a fairly wicked downturn into the first week, uh, 10 days of May. I don't know where that's going to start. Could be anywhere into today. Uh, did I do that right? I didn't do that right, did I? Uh, today, okay. Let's do this. Uh, I wanted to do that. Okay. It's just much faster today. I must have done something with my software. I've been, maybe it's not doing anything. Maybe it's not downloading uh, anything. I'll have to check here. Anyway, uh, certainly we're seeing a great deal of action, but uh, as uh, Joe Granville used to say, uh, when the Titanic's going down, everybody just runs to the, uh, the uh, stern of the ship. And as far as I can tell, everybody's looking in for something to hide out in and it doesn't change much of anything. 877-927-6648. Uh, da, da, da. CM, uh, what happened on uh, CRM is one of the first questions. Uh, no charts today? Uh, I, w I had it up. Must have, uh, must have uh, come down. Let's go live here. Uh, you're not in call. I don't know what that means. You're not in call. You are, you are, now you are in call. Okay. I don't know what uh, you're not in call means. Okay. Uh, two. Yeah. What else do we have? Uh, take a quick look at CRM. Uh, Salesforce is down here. The biggest problem Salesforce has is that it's slowly uh, losing uh, steam to both uh, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft, and uh, uh, Google's uh, Web Services business. And I don't see how you ever change that. Is this thing a buy down here on the light volume of yesterday? You had uh, 12 uh, million shares back on February 24th, 6 million shares now. So you're going to get a fairly decent bounce, uh, but probably just a bounce uh, in that. What, I, what you really wanted to see was the energy off this March 29th high come back down on much lighter volume. And for all practical purposes, it was about the same energy on the way up for March 8th to March 29th as the energy down on March 29th uh, to low here on March 19th. So that's kind of it. Uh, not a whole lot. You're probably going to get a bounce. My guess is you're going to come back and retest it. What you want is a bounce and then a pull back on by the volume. You know, is it a, is it a probably a buy at the moment? Yeah, could be. We'll be back in the Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV, live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. First question is Marriott, and what do I see in there? It uh, broke through previous high that had 3.3 million shares on 2.7 million shares. Uh, it doesn't have a follow-through on higher volume so far today. More than likely, it is not a bad stock, but will probably pull back into that trading range back about 185. Uh, another question, um, yeah, so I think it's probably done for this week. Uh, Ross, um, just a guess, but I think you're probably got a high and it's going to pull back to 185 and tell you there whether or not uh, it's going to hang on. Another one, uh, look at AutoZone, J&J, &J, Ulta, uh, Procter & Gamble, uh, PM, Cat, uh, Mondelez, Hum, KHC, PPL, uh, Darden, Cube, and a mini. Um, I think it's just the same as everything else, and everybody thinks they're going to stocks that will be safer in a recession. Uh, especially J&J, &J, uh, Procter & Gamble, those stocks are the ones everybody runs into. And uh, that's kind of it. You've got, uh, um, you've got uh, what is it? Uh, AutoZone is probably the easiest to see, and that is interest rates going higher uh, more used cars, more used parts. Um, and the biggest thing is I think you have a gap up today and it's on fairly lighter volume. That's why I'm thinking a lot of these stocks probably have topped out either today or by Friday. Um, higher volume, I mean, higher price is higher price. But you see these start pulling back tomorrow. My guess is they're going to come right back into the trading range. Uh, that is on many of these. Um, let's take a quick look at uh, Procter & Gamble. Walmart's another one that's uh, doing the same thing today. Everybody's looking for stocks where the business is probably not going to go away or it's going to go away least. Remember, most of people, 80% of participants that, uh, or at least put it this way, the 80% of the people that buy 80% of the stocks uh, are big shots on Wall Street are all looking to lose the least amount of money going forward. 
That is, they they have to be 100% invested if they have funds. And so generally what they do is rearrange the chairs on the, uh, on the Titanic and continue on. But whether it's Procter & Gamble or the rest, will they outperform probably over the next year or two years? Yes. Uh, does that mean they're going to go break out and run? No. As soon as they hit highs, my guess is a lot of people are going to uh, start selling. Uh, when we get into Walmart, same kind of thing. Uh, they want s stocks that don't have a lot of uh, technical or war or other kind of issues. They want something that's going to be there in a year from now. They don't want something that gets surplanted. And with the massive amount of infrastructure you need for a Walmart or an Amazon or a Target, you're not going to find a competitor that comes in and wipes you out in the next year or probably not going to find any kind of technology that does it either. Um, but uh, light volume on Walmart today, again, as a high. So I'm thinking that either today, uh, maybe Friday, uh, we're going to see uh, the top in one more uh, uh, opportunity for everybody to sell. Uh, they're just thinking that they can be, especially if you're on Wall Street, like I said, you've got to be 100% invested. So you're just trying to lose the least amount of money. So they rearrange that. And, of course, in the short term, you actually make money because everybody else does the exact same damn thing on Wall Street. Um, trying to remember who it was. Uh, uh, William Buffett said something about, uh, oh, he says, uh, when people in Wall Street get uh, an idea in their head, uh, they're worth worse than lemmings. And uh, I hate to uh, smear lemmings with uh, um, what they think. But uh, I'll get the actual quote. It's a little snappier. But uh, everybody's got the same idea. So you're going to get a handful of days where everybody runs into the same stocks. But I don't see anything out here that says the bear market is over. As I said, I'm still looking for 4110, 41. Uh, 20 in the S&P test uh, to get retested. It's just, like I said, three-fourths of the time, you will be going higher, uh, even in a bear market. So I'm out for the moment. I don't have any short positions. I covered them, as I said, uh, early last week and made a killing, uh, mostly in options. Uh, and now I'm really starting to think that uh, the time is coming where I can get some good shorts again. Uh, I got a question. See it here. Sellers out in force in Facebook. Have I heard why? There's a lot of rumors. I'll try to get to that at the bottom of the hour. But I think for the most part, everybody knows uh, that uh, – uh, really, Snapchat, some of these other ones are really starting to pick up um, business, uh, TikTok, at the expense of Facebook, who most people want nothing uh, to do with. Um, I said it why it was going up, and I'll say it why it's going down. Uh, Facebook's product is making narcissists out of young folks. So we've got a bumper crop of that at the moment. Uh, it will take a little while for reality to set in, uh, but uh, we've created uh, probably the worst generation of folks with Facebook, not the best. But uh, that is it. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the reasons why people are out here selling Facebook, but um, I'll do that at the break. See if they have anything else. Uh, okay. Uh, Meta Peacock. As I said, Metamucil. <laughs> uh, da, 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 orly too, yeah. Just right now, all you have to do is throw a dart at anything uh, that seems old and stodgy and people will need when they're broke, like auto parts. And, you know, that's why it was so. Uh, uh, so let's take a look at uh, Wendy's. I was so thinking that uh, Wendy's downgrade was. Uh, probably a low a couple of days ago, uh, that it was uh, awful uh, uh, self-serving. He did have a little more volume, so I'm not thinking that it's going to go up. I'm just thinking that generally they were trying to get out of some short positions when they started uh, peddling that pablum uh, that they do on Wall Street. 
Uh, Watt. Uh, we talked about this uh, years ago. Uh, I'm hoping I'm getting everything out here. And, yeah, Orly is another one like AutoZone. Uh, to to, to uh, Ingenious Watt. We talked about this being a fraud. And I think we had a gal call in. It had to be two or three years ago. And uh, if you make uh, extraordinary claims, uh, you better have extraordinary proof. They had little or nothing. You know, this was probably as close to uh, cold fusion as any story has been for a long time. Um, we'll be back in a minute, but uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, this company and uh, just how inefficient and literally, we'd have to build as twice as many power plants. This thing actually really took off uh, to make this thing work. We'll be back. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, uh, we continue to watch the blogging, which is just crawling here, 7 billion shares on the CBOE consolidated tape. If uh, you want to know what I'm looking at for volume, uh, email me at path at tfnn.com and I'll send you the link. Uh, but that's the best volume site I know since it aggregates all the different uh, areas in volume uh, and what I use every day to, to go back. Back to uh, Ingenious Watt. 
Um, we talked about this show uh, maybe two years ago as a possible fraud. Uh, this is there's a couple of big frauds that are going on uh, in uh, things like GoFundMe and all those. Uh, one of them is uh, energy through uh, the air, which is what this is. Another big one is uh, being able to uh, uh, get uh, water out of the air for uh, very uh, bad uh, places where you can't get water. And uh, it would, you know, of course, uh, save billions of lives. So it's got to be something good. I always uh, loved uh, trying to remember his name now, the guy that shorted uh to Enron, he always said it's okay to lie uh, about technology if you're if you seem to be uh, changing uh, the world. Uh, Chanos, yeah, uh, and that's true. And this is another one of these. Uh, the other one is just seems infinitum is the one that uh, talks about getting air out of uh, water out of air, uh, which is uh, called a dehumidifier, by the way. But uh, I've seen probably 10 of those scams over the last couple of years. They continue to run uh, YouTube uh, guys that uh, debunk a lot of these uh, uh, hucksters are, are always on these folks. And it seems like no one ever went through high school basic physics or the three, uh, three laws of thermodynamics to figure out that uh, getting water out of air is about 80% of the cost of running air conditioning. So uh, probably the most expensive water you can buy, almost always uh, cheaper to truck it in than to try one of those scams. But uh, since uh, Tesla and his thoughts of being able to beam energy through, we found out that, uh, again, uh, a big issue uh, is uh, efficiency. Uh, the product that this company uh, sold took 500 watts to get five, uh, actually probably more like two watts, uh, to a cell phone uh, to recharge. So you're spending 500 watts to actually get what you would plug in uh, locally to it or even put on one of those magnetic uh, resonance pads uh, that will charge a phone. Even them, uh, uh, you spend 10 times the amount of energy than plugging it in. I understand why you don't want a lot of holes in your smartphone uh, the next time you drink uh, drop it in the toilet or, or the pool or the lake uh, so they want to make them um, uh, watertight but it doesn't change the fact that this is massively by what three orders of magnitude inefficient uh, so the biggest problem I think I have would have is the uh, global warming folks coming to burn your house down uh, because of the amount of power that you have to put out uh, before, where you actually get it. There's a couple other companies trying lasers to send power. If there's a great use case for it, that's fine. If it's just because you're lazy, I don't think that's a great use case uh, for a watt. Now, that being said, uh, Sears and Kmart and a lot of other companies, including AMC and others, uh, we've seen them go to the moon. We all know they're worthless. We all know that the, there, if there's any worth in there, it's if it's a penny on the dollar, it's probably amazing. Same thing with this. But at some point, you get more people short than they should be, and you're going to see movement off the lows before the people. Uh, you actually see something like this one circle the drain. But that's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. In uh, a strange case of... Uh, of uh, uh, cognitive dissonance, uh, the global warming people would burn down your house, uh, even though it would release CO2 and pollutants. 877-927-6648, uh, if you want to give me a call. And uh, see if I think uh, we're going to get to some emails here now also. i uh, got a couple of those. We'll send the people asked that, uh, for the volume site during the break. Uh, what do you think of bottom fishing on Netflix? Well, I think if you did that at the very beginning of the morning, uh, you're really, really uh, not good. This is how bear markets work. They open low, uh, they open low with a gap away, and then they go lower. And 
if you want a pattern, just look at uh, Netflix. This is the new pattern of being in a bear market, although most people are not going to say that they're in a bear market. Um, they're going to look in the rearview mirror uh, down the road, maybe 60 miles, maybe to the next city, and eventually they're going to go, you know what? We were in a bear market. Uh, but uh, this is the way bear markets work. Um, they bring in more. You got to 212. My guess is you're probably going to see more uh, problematic issues with Netflix, as we discussed at the beginning of the show. I spent uh, 10 years uh, dealing with these folks out, actually almost 12 years, dealing with these folks out in Hollywood. Uh, mostly I was on the special effects side. I didn't deal with the talent or script writers, but I was in meetings where all this stuff went along and they asked, could I do something or help something? for the customers that bought my products that worked on these movies. And uh, we were in some meetings with on some very big movies. And I was on the set. Uh, I think the really first one that I remember that was big uh, was being on the set of True Lies uh, when uh, <clears throat> they had Schwarzenegger in a, uh, the cockpit. It was just kind of like the cockpit cut out uh for true lies and uh standing around talking to people and of course watching uh schwarzenegger hit on any woman that was uh within earshot uh but uh <laughs> he was quite the hoot back then uh but uh you know I, I did any would any of these people recognize me today i doubt it the other than my customers uh who were just asking if i could make a change in software hardware difference or would it make a good idea to make a product a little different way uh, maybe the next version that kind of stuff so we'd go out there and we'd spend some time um, doing that but the same thing happens with every single one of these kind of companies whether the, they were producing movies or tv series or whatever and that is they'll have a string of hits and then they'll have a incredibly long string of failures Every single one of them I ever met finally ended up uh, making a turkey of a movie. And that turkey turned into a, a uh, what is a, a bunch of turkeys? I'm sure there's, I know porpoises that are pods and whales are pods and stuff like that. But uh, guess what? Uh, I've been talking about it since Christmas. The cost of production has gone through the roof. There's only so many good ideas and generally People run out of it fairly quickly. In this case, uh, any good writer now is probably a single good writer on one of the 610 shows they're producing. It's a glut. It's a it's a uh, it's an idea gap. Yeah. Talk more about this when we return. A gaggle of geese. I don't think it's a Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Disinformation everywhere. Disinformation I see. Apocalypse Now was uh, the follow-up movie uh, from uh, Francis Ford Coppola of the uh, of the uh, Godfather series. So that's it. <laughs> so yeah, that was Francis Ford Coppola's movie, and. Uh, there is a documentary of the making of that movie that I think is better than the movie. Uh, and, of course, uh, that whole thing was uh, a uh, Joseph Conrad book, uh, The Heart of Darkness, which uh, I think everybody should see. And, yes, uh, a rafter is uh, what everybody thinks uh, that is what turkeys are – a bunch of turkeys are called. Uh, anyway, we're talking about Netflix and just my experience. Everybody – I know uh, in Hollywood in, over the 10 years, uh, by the time five years had gone, the companies that they were involved with were kaput, done, or uh, over. And, uh, you know, you, all you have to do is look at all the different, quote, quote, uh, what am I going to say, uh, uh, studios in Hollywood, the Paramount for a while. They'll have a good run, and then they make a whole bunch of turkeys and no one wants anything to do with them, and they go broke because it's all about how much money is behind these things. And Netflix has been green lighting a bunch of turkeys, uh, and uh, that's I think is a part of it. I, I I've got a question about whether I think uh, this whole sharing of uh, passwords is a big deal. Uh, not a. I think that they're looking for a lot of places to put blame. Uh, instead of on the mediocre uh, uh, level of stuff. Um, I did hear one analyst out here talk about uh, how year after year before there was streaming, we'd have 40 new television shows and two maybe would make it. The batting average for series shows, of which there are now 610 in production in Hollywood, that's scripted shows. Uh, when at, in a good year, you might have 60 or 70 uh, going back even 15 years. Good ideas are fairly rare, especially uh, interesting ideas. And just one after another of these horrible comic book uh, remakes, I think just eventually people are going to get worn out on them. And I think that's another big part of this is that Movies that are really good are fair and rare. Uh, the series have become homogenized after Netflix and Disney and a lot of these other companies starting off and leaving the production of these things alone. The same thing happens every time. I was in a comedy uh, movie that I don't think got produced. And this is the same thing that happens. So you get a bunch of people in... Uh, executive parts of the business. They all come down. They all give notes to the people that are creative. 
Uh, these people, especially in comedy, the least funniest people in the world tell you what's funny. And I sat there and just all I could do is keep from laughing. Again, I had nothing with the production part of it or the script. Just that I knew these people were the least funny of people that I would ever probably meet in my life. And they were telling somebody that was incredibly funny who uh, was going to make a, several movies uh, that were uh, would be on the tip of your tongue now in comedies later on. As I said, this one didn't get built but it, or made, but it's just that way. Hollywood brings uh, the worst narcissism out of uh, especially the executives uh, that are around it who believe that they're the smart folks. And uh, the, the creative people they hire, they should have just left alone. And it just... It's just an endless cycle that happens time after time. Uh, 877-927-6648. Uh, yes, we've got the rafter, a group of turkeys. And that's what I think Netflix and Disney and some of these other ones are talking about. Uh, based on your outlook on the markets getting ready to go down in the next couple of weeks, at what uh, price would you consider buying Mosaic? Um, again, I don't think there's a... It's a market of stocks, not a stock market. There are going to be stocks that outperform um, on a pullback if you're lucky enough to get one of these. I don't think anything's really going to change in this business probably over the next couple of years. Again, this is all about energy production um, for the most part uh, or tied to a great deal of it, natural gas, for making uh, a lot of this stuff. And uh, until the political bunch that is decided that high energy prices are in our interest buckle which they will eventually they'll get it voted out of office or thrown out of office because no one wants to pay four bucks a gallon for gas um and then that's going to happen so i'm going to say uh you're probably fairly close uh you got uh, light volume today seven million shares going back into 10 million shares um, I'd look and see if you get light volume at 70 bucks, but I think you could get that. Um, but again, I, it's hard for me to be bearish on energy uh, or uh, anything energy adjacent like these companies uh, as long as we have a policy, a political policy, not a, not a reality policy against uh, lower energy prices. We start getting lots of natural gas. Uh, that price starts to fall, then you might want to change your opinion on uh, uh, this uh, part, the uh, uh, the whole uh, fertilizer part of the market. Uh, the mosaic. Phosphate and potash. But, yes, it's energy adjacent, as I said. Uh, once you get that all that uh, phosphate and potash, uh, fertilizer is then made with that stuff and natural gas. So, yes, there's a, it is energy adjacent. Um, they use a great deal of it. Kind of like uh, the other day when you know, I was talking about concrete, you don't think that it's all about energy prices, but it is. They use a, a tremendous amount and making the soda ash that goes into uh, uh, concrete. So, yeah, you kind of have to understand how whatever you're working on is in there. But, uh, yes, uh, low uh, high energy prices mean high fertilizer costs. Uh, okay. What else is that here? Near term low for NVIDIA and AMD, NVDA. Take a look at the... Uh, this uh, you bounced today. You didn't have much in the way of volume. Uh, again, can you get lower prices? You probably can. Uh, I don't see a lot in the way before the end of the summer, but I don't have a good call on how much lower these this one goes. AMD seems a little bit uh, easier to say. It may have a little bit more weakness and break down. Um, there is a gap down about, uh, uh, what is that, about 70 bucks that this could come back to. We'll return in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return, uh, IBM did have uh, uh, not despicable earnings, but I don't think it's going to do anything other than stay in this trading range. As I said uh, a couple of days ago, I think this thing's over a long-term dead money. Um, yeah, can you? it had five days to cover. So are they running the shorts out today? Yeah. Do I think uh, it's maybe a one- or two-day wonder? If uh, everybody backs off and no one shorts this thing at 140, 142-ish, uh, you may have a good uh, position to actually uh, if you're in it. I think there's probably going to be a lot of stocks that are far worse off than this. But uh, 142, I'd probably think about uh, some kind of short position in it. Uh, back to 118 because I don't think this thing's going that far. After the bell tonight, we've got Tesla. Lots of people talking about it. Um, the key is what uh, they say in the uh, in the uh, earnings call. Um, the plant was uh, shut down for the last 10 days of March. It still is not open in China. I don't know when it's going to open. Maybe they'll answer that tonight. So earnings could be literally all over the place with Tesla. Um, again, everybody is this is a cult stock. My guess is uh, everybody will be shorting it at the close. 
So I won't be doing that. You might be right. You might be wrong. I just uh, I like surprises uh, to the downside. And it's generally when nobody is shorting it. They can run this thing 50 or 100 bucks and then drop it at 200 bucks before you're done. So I don't see a lot of risk reward in these. But again, uh, all about the conference call. We'll talk about that tomorrow. We do have Tim Ord in tomorrow. So get your uh, questions uh, to me uh, today and tomorrow before the show at pathpfn.com. In the meantime, so when you can, not when you have to, we will return like that. 